Il Chivitao Sangiovese. This is basically, I say to people, my flagship wine. Um, I struggle, or I've struggled over the past three years to find a Sangiovese that comes even close to this for the money. Uh, I've tried others which are spectacular, but they're stupid money. I'm like, you wouldn't pay it. Like, to bring it into the country and then charge people like 60, 70 pound a bottle, it's gonna go, I ain't drinking that. And they're not even Brunello's, which is a whole other conversation. So this is uh, the 2016 Sangiovese from Gregorio. It's 100% Sangiovese. Uh, the face is because if you've seen the video about the Faithful Companion, it's quite humorous because Greg's like, I don't know, I made it four years ago. Um, I, as I said, this, this is, I've used this over th for three years as a, as a benchmark for all other Sangioveses. And the reason is it's really drinkable, it's really clean. That's why when I poured it to and gave it to uh, Pierre Kaufman at the Restaurant Awards, his response was, it's very nice. I'll take that from a chef who held three Michelin stars at one point, um, who actually follows me on Instagram and he liked one of my pictures the other day and I fell off my chair. Uh, this, so all of Gregorio Sangiovese have this really distinct flavour. They have like um, almost like an aniseed finish to them. They're beautiful, beautiful wines. This one has a, I keep messing this up, but a, I keep saying sweet, no, I keep saying sweet leather instead of sweet tobacco. So it's like a sweet tobacco, uh, sour cherries, and there's a little bit of like a new leathery kind of smell to it. It's, um, the wine wankers call it farmyardy. Uh, so you get that kind of musty kind of farmyardy smell to it. This doesn't have a lot of that, there's a little, but it's mostly, like I said, the aniseedy kind of finish on a uh, sour cherry uh, cake, which is, so, so yeah, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, pairing wise, you want uh, grilled meat, roast meat. It's like roast beef on a Sunday, perfect. Uh, you can have this with pizza. I love it with pizza. It's it's not a pizza wine, but I love it with pizza. The first time I tried this, the 2013, I sat watching Skull Island. Is it Skull Island? Yeah, the King Kong movie. And I was sitting at home in my tiny little apartment in, in Italy. I had a pizza from Intaco, takeaway pizza. A bottle of this. And I literally was going, glass, glass. As I was watching the movie, and I went, it, it, it's finished. It's so drinkable. Uh, that's it, isn't it? Sangiovese from Tuscany.